Welcome friends to the first episode of 2023 which happens to be the first anniversary of the channel. <laughs> After a lackluster performance in the T20 World Cup in Australia, India enters 2023 with lots of hope. And what's more, there's another World Cup waiting for us in our own backyard, the ODI World Cup. Welcome to Crick World Straight Up by Vijay and Prabhu. A very ardent cricket supporter and our own channel supporter Vivek has just passed away. We would like to pass on our sincere condolences to the family. May his uh, soul rest in peace. Keeping an eye on the World Cup, in this episode, we are basically looking at two main formats. One is the ODI, obvious, and the other one is the Test Cricket. Let's look at um, uh, the immediate uh, cricket schedule of India. So India plays Sri Lanka in three games. I think um, India should be favourites there. But again, I think it's going to be closer than what people expect. Uh, something like 2-1 would be in the order. Okay. Um, and then we have uh, New Zealand playing India in another three uh, one days. Uh, this should be a little bit more close for it. I see uh, Black Caps to be a, a lot stronger opposition because they would have had played in Pakistan uh, their three one days. And also, they had a very good uh, outing, although they should have won the Test Series and, um, and they should have won both matches against India and Sri Lanka. And you're absolutely right. I, I, I would take 2-1 against Black Caps wow. any day. Yeah. yeah. And then we've got the very, very widely anticipated series. India playing Australia in 3-1 days. That's going to be some series because we haven't played Australia in any form of cricket uh, for a long, long time. Um, and uh, it will be very interesting to see uh, how this all pans out. Yes, absolutely. And that's an extension of the mother of all series that we have been waiting for. Australia in India, a four test series. Friends, stay tuned and you will get, um, you know, a lots of insights of Prabhu's great predictions and what's our take on the general uh, state of uh, India's cricket at the moment. Looking back at last year, we found many of our star players were injured and could not make it to the World Cup. A couple of them to mention, Bumrah and Chadeja. I understand that they are working themselves back into some fitness and uh, they are going to be match fit very soon, isn't that Vijay? That is right. Uh, so, match fitness has to be proven. Uh, so they have supposedly been cleared for this. But what about the tragic accident of Rishabh Pan? My God, incredibly lucky, fortunate that he's, uh, you know, got away with very little, um, you know, injuries. Uh, they are hoping for a complete recovery within about two to three months. I feel, I feel for him because he was just about coming into his own, uh, and he's a he's a pivotal player for India Australia series, and India is definitely going to miss him very, very, very badly because I don't see an immediate replacement of his doing and you know bringing that kind of flair and swagger uh, to to the to the wicketkeeper batsman role that he does so well yeah KL Rahul has asked to keep wickets so i think that is possibly the most plausible scenario i don't see anybody else taking up the role because rahul i don't see him otherwise fitting into any role if he doesn't get the gloves yeah that's the only way to keep him in the team and talking about injuries and everything, uh, we find that uh, Hardik Pandya is now the new vice captain of the Indian team. Correct. And but is he fit enough though? I mean, he barely bowls uh, two or three overs uh, in T20s. Uh, so is he really going to be available to bowl ten overs? Yeah. So I think what's going to happen is that uh, his fitness is going to be, uh, you know, it's checked out big time. Because, like you rightly said, you know, is he doesn't bowl uh, four overs in every game, he, yeah. and sometimes he doesn't bowl at all. Yeah. So, how does he expect to bowl five, seven, ten overs in an ODI? Is anybody's guess. The other thing is that if we are thinking of uh, you know workload management for Hardik Pandya, so then what does he miss? Since he's captain of the T20 uh, team, he can't miss those games just to be fit for the ODIs. 
so it's going to be an interesting one which this series has been looked uh, as something which australia might be looking at settling the revenge it could be that india might be finding it too tough to handle because india has really not faced any strong opposition since england visited india a couple of years back so prabhu what do you think is what is going to be australia's approach and what is going to be india's approach a very good point you make uh, which says that uh, australia will be looking for revenge uh, for their defeat uh, yeah. at the hands of india a couple of years back i think australia will be playing to their strength which is fast bowling and batting deep they've got uh, this uh, knack of uh, doing the reverse sweep as well as the sweep will they will be bringing it out uh, in every game most of the players will be using that technique sure. forcing india to put field uh, to have a on side field uh, instead of actually having the conventional off side field hmm. and once you do that the off side opens up so many possibilities and because of their superior running between wickets um, you can uh, imagine the kind of singles and twos which can be had so indian bowling has to be very very uh, smart and careful otherwise uh, australia will have them for dinner there you go so i am fully in agreement with you this is going to be one of those series where india just cannot just take it uh, uh, for granted that they are playing at home all the pitches will will be uh, spinner friendly therefore india is going to easily walk over australia and it has never really happened even though australia might have not won a series here since 2004 2004 that means almost 19 years so you are absolutely right what do you think is makes spinner friendly um, pitches and that's the only way to get on top of australia because australia has got very good uh, experience in the last uh, couple of uh, their outings in sri lanka they defeated pakistan in pakistan they defeated sri lanka so there's a good chance that they will do well yeah that's right and, uh, and not to forget that india has very inexperienced test captain in rohit sharma who's also suffering from lack of confidence because of his own performances not coming through he's only been picked as captain of india at the test team uh, based on his ipl uh, win so uh, mm. 20 overs and 450 overs in a match uh, this is uh, as different as chalk and cheese on the other hand india um, i think will be wanting spinner friendly conditions yeah well i think they are going to actually uh, most probably make you know rank turners from the day one because otherwise i don't see india beating australia in india with their yeah, fast bowlers true but on the other hand uh, if i ask you a question vijay do you think india can score 300 on a spinning track well going by <laughs> going by a good very good point uh, going by what they have done in the last few series they could not even get uh, a decent amount of runs against bangladesh they right. struggled they they won to to nil but was it convincing not by any stretch of imagination especially against bangladesh and that was bangladesh for australia so there you go so you got you know gary uh, you got um, uh, nathan line you got um, M- mitchell swepson maybe coming in uh, they might be ashton agar these are not experienced spinners but look if uh, aksar patel can move a ball so can these people move. why can't yeah. why can't they do it? absolutely so if india is going to have their hands full let's put it this way absolutely. and it's not going to be easy we need to also have one eye on the world test championship because Surely this do. is the series which is going to decide who will be the you know ultimate finalists uh, yeah. australia having done so far very very well they think there is there they have one foot in the door no two ways about it yes. but we are going to actually look at now the likely scenarios as on current points table as you can see only four top teams have the opportunity to come to the finals which is australia sitting pretty at the top india is currently at number 2 and then we've got sri lanka and south africa the reason why the sri lanka and south africa are there is because they've got two games each yet in hand Uh, yeah. Sri Lanka is supposed to play uh, two away test series in New Zealand, and West Indies are supposed to be playing again away series. That means they are playing South Africa at home. Um, so we are going to look at a few scenarios as to where we are at. Prabhu, the first scenario: 
where Sri Lanka wins 2-0 against New Zealand and South Africa wins 2-0 against West Indies at home. Who do you rate uh, has a better chance? South Africa should probably win 2-0 against West Indies and New uh, Sri Lanka winning 2-0, in, I know it's a scenario, but then I think uh, one all might be a little bit more... Uh, more realistic, you reckon? Yeah, more realistic. Okay. So the next scenario is India winning against Australia 4-0. Now, if you look at this scenario, 4-0, which is an ideal scenario from India's perspective, then Australia will be in a jeopardizing position because they will have only 59 points, 64 points, as opposed to Sri Lanka's 61.11 points. Now, let's understand this, that these are likely scenarios and predicated on Sri Lanka winning 2-0, which is, as Prabhu has rightly um, said, tall order. Do you think uh, India is likely to win 4-0, which we've already answered that it is highly unlikely? Right, Prabhu? Yeah, def- um, yeah, I mean, that would be a miracle. Now, the next possible scenario is Australia winning against India 3-1. In that case, India will be out because Australia will be sitting at 75.43 points. And assuming that South Africa wins against West Indies, if Sri Lanka wins against New Zealand, then obviously they will be sitting pretty at 61.11 and they will be number two and India will be out 52.24. That means yeah. this is a detrimental scenario for India. Um, from what I can see that if that happens, uh, even if Sri Lanka doesn't win a match against uh, New Zealand, India still end up number three. India Correct. is out, completely out. Correct, absolutely right. Yeah. Let's go to another scenario. Australia winning 4-0 against India. Obviously, in that case, Australia will again be uh, sitting pretty at the top. India will not be able to do anything. They will, And they will not be deserving any way to be uh, featuring in the final. They will be out. Correct? There's one more scenario, which is India and Australia square the series 2-2. Again, in this case, Australia will be sitting pretty at the top. India, if India do end up doing 2-2, then 56.94 would be their their uh, percentage score. And they just might pip South Africa, even if South Africa win at home against West Indies. However, they will be not having full control of their destiny. Perhaps the most ideal scenario for India which is India winning against Australia 3-1. So basically what we are saying is, if they want to continue uh, having some control over their their destiny, India can only afford to lose rather one test match out of uh, four test matches. Correct. Very interesting, very intriguing. And the next 45 days, uh, well, it's going to be, uh, you know, bringing out the best in all the teams as they strive to make it to the final. Correct. So Vijay, all said and done. Now we are at the business end. What do you think is going to be the likely lineup for the finalists? India and Australia will actually be the deserved uh, entrance to the final. I am hopeful, but not confident, that India will be in the final. Let me just put it. I think, I think will India be actually able to win a series? Because it looks as if it, India needs to win the series Correct. to qualify. Anything less than that uh, is a big question mark. Okay, you had my opinion on this. What do you think is going to be the final scoreline the India Australia series? Unfortunately, I don't see India winning. And uh, the way I look at it is that I think Australia will probably end up winning either 2 1 or 3 1. I hope you guys have loved the video. If you do, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you won't miss another video.